All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Welcome back to Quick Takes. Thank you so much for joining. So today's video is another highly requested question that initially I wasn't going to respond to in video form because as you can tell from the title, it's in relation to the Spotify Netflix deals with Meghan and Harry and whether they can be enforced legally or, you know, whether um, there can be any consequences for a potential breach of contract on the Sussex end for not delivering. So I wasn't going to respond because it's quite clear that at least up until now, Spotify and Netflix both don't have any intentions as far as the public is aware of suing the duo or severing ties with them. In fact, they have done the exact opposite and they've gone off and now they're starting to hire people in order to work with the couple, the couple, excuse me, um, to produce content. So today I will be answering the question, you know, with regards to whether they can eventually be sued because, you know, never say never just because they're not currently under any threat of breach of contract. That doesn't mean that Spotify and Netflix will never consider going down that route. But at this point, it's all speculation. Um, and I figured I might as well make the video because I like to take these opportunities to help impart some information that will be of use to you in a general sense as well, which was the same concept as, um, which was rather the motivation behind making the defamation video that I made last week. So let's get into it. As we all know, soon after Megxit, um, Spotify and Netflix both got struck deals with Megan and Harry to produce content for them on Spotify. Archwell Audio was tasked with producing a podcast and on Netflix, I believe it was Archwell Productions. Fast forward to 2022 and apart from a 30 minute podcast that was released um, December 2020, we have seen nothing on either Spotify or Netflix. And so now we're hearing that both Spotify and Netflix have taken action, not legal action, but they're trying to get content out of the couple. So they're, they're starting to hire people to produce the content for them. So initially the plan was Archwell Audio was going to produce content for the podcast and Archwell Productions would be producing content for Netflix. When that failed, Spotify and Netflix have stepped in. So what this tells me before we get into um, actually looking into the legal side of this is that currently as it stands, Spotify and Netflix clearly still see some value in their deals with Meghan and Harry. You know, um, we talk about this in a bit more detail on this week's podcast, which is out today. Thursday, assuming I upload this on Thursday, the plan is to upload it today. Um, but Thursday, the 3rd of February. So I'm not going to go into that here. Let's get, let's get into the, um, legal legalities, shall we? So first of all, the most important thing when it comes to assessing these cases or matters or questions is to refer to the contract. Now, obviously, in this instance, I don't have access to either of the contracts, not the contract with Spotify or the one with Netflix. So everything I say here is general law because contracts are the guiding, you know, it's almost like the gospel when it comes to these um, situations. You refer to the contract to figure out what all the terms and conditions are and what constitutes a breach of contract. And because we don't have access to these contracts, we don't exactly know what constitutes breach of contract on the part of Meghan and Harry. But usually, you know, when a core, um, when a rather a material condition or term has been breached or hasn't been satisfied, that kind of gives you an indication that there may have been a breach. In this instance, it would not be at all far-fetched to assume that 
delivering content is a core term or condition of the contract. Why else would Spotify and Netflix pay Meghan and Harry any money? You have to have consideration. Consideration is a very important element of contract law. And what it means is basically, I give you something, you give me something in return, something that I deem of value, something that I want. And in Spotify and Netflix's instance, that something is content. So what we have here is almost two years of what would presumably be a very important element of the contract, a very important condition or term that hasn't been satisfied. So when that happens, and again, this is all general because we don't know, usually what a party to a contract can do is sue for breach of contract. Now, there are several remedies that are available in an instance of breach of contract. I'm not going to go through all of them. I will bring up three of the ones that I believe would most likely apply in a situation like this, not necessarily Megan and Harry, but any situation where a party enters into a contract with another party and the other party fails to deliver. The number one and the most common one is damages. So they can sue them for um, breach of contract and receive compensatory damages. So these are basically, it's a financial um, award to the party that is suing the plaintiff for any losses that it has incurred as a result of the breach. So in um, Spotify and Netflix's instance, for example, it would be money that was lost, paid to Meghan and Harry, paid maybe even to hire people to work on, and any money that has been incurred as an expense in order to further their end of the bargain. So Spotify and Netflix have done their job and they've spent money doing their job. And so they can sue to reimburse that money, to get reimbursed. Um, compensatory damages, I'm not gonna make these videos too detailed because again, this is all speculation. There's no point getting really detailed about this but they can be broken down into, you know, kind of subcategories of damages, expectation damages, consequential damages. Um, but I'm not going to get into that. There's also liquidated damages. It's, <laughs> we just, we can go on for hours, trust me. Um, the next remedy that could be available is rescission. So rescission is basically a remedy that would put both parties back in the position that they were before entering the contract. So it's as though the contract never happened. So in this instance, the contract would be terminated and Spotify and Netflix would presumably be reimbursed with whatever money they have already given Meghan and Harry, I mean, apart from, I suppose, um, payment for that podcast that they produced in December of 2020, because as far as that podcast is concerned, they fulfilled that end of the bargain. So minus um, that money, in order to put Spotify and Netflix back in their original position, you would obviously have to reimburse them whatever money they have you know, paid Meghan and Harry. Um, the thing about rescission is that the breach must be material. So it can't be like a marginal or side kind of issue. It has to go to the heart of the actual agreement. Now, in this case, it's very easy to argue that not delivering your end of the bargain, not producing content is the heart of the agreement. You know, it's the main and only reason that Spotify and Netflix even entered into an agreement with Meghan and Harry. The final remedy that could be applicable, this one's the least likely to be honest, um, in terms of the three that I've picked out, is specific performance. And the name is actually quite self-explanatory. Once I explain it to you, you'll see how. It's basically where the plaintiff will go to court for an order to force the other party to perform their end of the bargain. So in Spotify and Netflix's instance, they would go to court to obtain an order to force Meghan and Harry to produce content. Not necessarily on their own. You know, let's say Spotify and Netflix have hired people and then even that wasn't enough. You know, I should have said this at the beginning. This is all assuming that 
no matter what Spotify and Netflix do, Meghan and Harry still don't produce. They still don't deliver. So um, this could be an available remedy. Usually plaintiffs go for monetary compensation, you know, monetary damages. They're usually the more preferred form of remedies. But sometimes specific performance um, is sought when monetary damages just aren't enough or, or they won't. Yeah, they're just not enough. Um, for example, you want to get something that is incredibly unique that you paid money for and, um, to you, monetary damages just wouldn't have cut it for whatever reason. The thing about specific performance too, is that it's a court order. So again, not necessarily Megan and Harry in any instance, if the defendants don't perform, not only is that again, a breach of contract, it actually gets escalated to contempt of court. Because in this instance, the court ordered you to perform. And contempt of court is violating a court order. You might be interested in knowing what the consequences for contempt of court are. They're they're usually fines, but they can also be imprisonment. In fact, especially when it comes to disorderly conduct, it's mostly throwing someone in in jail overnight or for a couple of days. It's actually a common... um, action, a common course of action taken by courts. What else do we have here? I think that's about it. Now, again, I don't see this happening anytime soon, if ever. As I said earlier, Spotify and Netflix are not showing any intentions of severing ties with Meghan and Harry for whatever reason. Their their brand name is too popular, whatever it is. Maybe Meghan and Harry have some kind of plans that can prove that they are working towards something. It's just taking time. Maybe Meghan and Harry asked for help from Spotify and Netflix. Maybe they said, well, we need more people. We don't have enough people to help us further our vision. We don't know. It's all behind the scenes. And that's why it's all speculation. Um, And in all honesty, I think if it ever got to that point where it's very clear that Meghan and Harry will not deliver, they will probably terminate the contract quietly and come into some kind of an agreement, a settlement um, outside of court to avoid any kind of PR disaster. Because if there's anything we know about Meghan and Harry, their image is the most important thing to them. You know, they will do anything, say anything to project this image of perfection and to be examples and role models to the rest of the world. So I don't think they would necessarily allow it to get this far because what would happen behind the scenes is Spotify and Netflix's legal teams would, you know, liaise with Meghan and Harry privately and will tell them of their intention. Hey, if you don't do this, this has gone too far. We could sue you or we will sue you for breach of contract. And at that point, I truly do believe Meghan and Harry will take some sort of action to prevent that from ever coming out into the public domain. Um, I hope that answers your questions, though, in general. And with regards to what course of action Spotify and Netflix could potentially have. I will say that if, if Meghan and Harry were not the other party and if it was just someone of lesser fame or, you know, in Spotify and Netflix's, Netflix's eyes, lesser value, which of course, you know, is ridiculous. We're all, you know, no human is of more value than the other. But um, I, I truly do believe that in situations where the other party is less powerful, less well-known, and less rich, they would have already been sued for breach of contract, potentially, especially since it's gone on this long. I'm not saying definitely, you know, potentially. But uh, yeah, that was just my two cents in the end. I'm not saying it as a fact, but I have seen people getting sued for breach of contract for much, much smaller deals and much, much smaller issues. With that, I'm going to end it. I think this is the shortest quick take so far. And um, I will see you in in a future quick take. I have been asked to comment further on the Cardi B defamation outcome with, with regards to Meghan Markle and what does it mean for YouTubers. I have already answered that in a very general sense. But because I've been asked for further detail... I will um, come out with a future video. It will probably also be a short video to clarify a few points that people are still kind of confused and worried about. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. 
and I will catch you in either the podcast that will be up after this video or a future quick take. Take care.